Hey, everybody. I'm Tom Elliott with John Deere. And today, we'll show you how to build a self-filling livestock water tank. This landowner in southeast Kansas keeps some cattle in his pasture, but doesn't have a water source for them. So we're going to dig a trench and lay a water line from a spigot located here all the way to the pasture fence, here. Then we'll use that water line to install a self-filling water tank. We'll do that by using a John Deere 1025R compact utility tractor with a factory installed 260 backhoe. We've also added an H120 loader and a Frontier AP10F pallet fork for ballast on the front of our tractor. First, we spray painted an orange line from the spigot all the way to the spot where we want to install the self-filling water tank. That's about 350 long feet. We also called 811 call before you dig to make sure we were clear of any underground utilities. With Scott's assistance, Caitlin positions the backhoe so she can maximize the boon reach. After following all the operator's manual startup procedures, she's ready to get started. This backhoe has a reach of eight feet, eight inches from its pivot point and a swing arc of 150 degrees. In this part of Kansas, the frost line is 20 inches and we'll be digging our trench 24 inches deep, so we're good to go. 350 feet. This is gonna take a while, but it's a great idea and it's worth doing right. When she got toward the end of the trench line, Caitlin turned the tracker around to face the end point and began digging back toward the trench she's already dug. Now here's a tip you really need to know. Before she gets too close to the existing trench, she positions the backhoe at a 90 degree angle to the trench lines to finish connecting them. If she doesn't, she'll end up straddling the trench with the tractor, and then she'd really have a problem. Once the trench was complete, we laid and connected the PVC water pipe from the spigot to the water tank site. What we're installing is called a tire tank. We used an old motor scraper tire with the bead removed from one side, some quick setting concrete, a rubberized sealant, some more PVC pipe, and a valve and buoy system that works just like your home toilet's refill tank. After making the site level, we used two inch gravel to build a pad for the tire tank. The coarser gravel formed a good base for the tire tank and will keep the livestock from loafing on the gravel pad. Then we connected the final supply line to the water line, installed a drain pipe, placed the tire over the plumbing, and made sure the tire was level. We placed PVC caps over the supply line and drain pipe to protect them from the concrete, and lightly greased each just enough so they'd be easy to remove. And we used 12 bags of quick setting concrete to form the solid base in the tire. We removed a PVC cap that protected the supply line and attached an elbow pipe with a shutoff valve for adding water just up to the level of the wet, smooth concrete. This way, we sprayed water into the inside edge of the tire so it would rise smoothly and not distort the surface of the concrete. As soon as the water level had covered the top of the concrete base by about two inches, we shut off the water to the elbowed pipe and let the concrete set. The water will also help keep the concrete from shrinking away from the rubber. When the surface water evaporated and the concrete was smooth and dry, we used a rubberized sealant spray to seal the edge where the concrete and tire rubber met, as well as where the PVC supply line came through the concrete. To assemble the plumbing, we added a threaded brass connector to the supply line. Using galvanized fittings would not be a good idea here. It will corrode from the minerals in the water and the concrete. Finally, we attached the open close valve and float and turned on the water. As the water level rises, the float rises. It's attached to the fill valve with a cord. When the float reaches the proper height, the fill valve closes. As water is consumed and evaporates, the water level and float fall. Eventually, the valve opens and the tank refills. When the float reaches the proper height, the valve closes automatically, just like the fill tank on your home toilet. Frontier has nearly 600 implements that are available only from your John Deere dealer. The place to go for advice and equipment. So remember, for implements that help turn your tractor into the workhorse it was built to be, think Frontier and your John Deere dealer.